Hello, welcome in to new, welcome in, glad to have you. Working on Q, uh, Q school final. In the top 50, I made the cut. I just did four, all, or four rounds just to get more practice. So, if you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button. If you would. Two K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're golfing. glad to have you with us as we kick off our coverage of this event. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hello, Luke Olvey here with Rich Beam and Rich. As this round begins, what are your thoughts on this particular player? Luke, this player is trailing currently, but let's face it, there's so much golf left to be played. I really think if they stay the course and continue playing the way they are they've got a great chance of getting a victory here oh i can't wait salivating to see how today's play goes and let's see what he can do here today that's a bit out of shape Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. He's got a bit of trouble here. Bad lie just off the fairway. Out. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Gotta like their chances from there. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Getting ready to play their third. Well, oh, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. That's disappointing. It was a slippery putt coming up down the hill, so not too surprised to see this one coming up short. Teeing off here at the third hole. Par three, measuring 208 yards, a difficult par three to say the least. Uh, great shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Get in. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Currently at two over par. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Almost every player in the field will be going for this green. Where do you hit it? Front right part of the green is the perfect target. Missing it to the left in the bunker or long and right. That is not good. Yeah, good aggressive play and almost rewarded by finding the green. Setting themselves up for a birdie, hopefully an eagle. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, it's just about three feet away. This is their look at birdie. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 155. 
and choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, that was a safe play. Trying to get back to even par with this putt. This for a birdie birdie run. No, that's too bad. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Lovely touch. Well played. Judging it beautifully. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Yeah, that'll work, that's fine. Now just one over par. And here we are with the third shot. Well played, mate. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Par three in a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Lovely effort, that. All these are bonuses. This putts from about 18 feet. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. That was wonderfully done. Lining up from around 160 yards. Going with the seven. A yeah, quality shot, that. Outside chance for Birdie here, Luke. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. Oh, just missed. And this one is for his par. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Next up is this par four hole. Par four, this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. Water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes come into the equation. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. What a shot from the rough, this is gorgeous. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. 14-footer. Uh, what a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. 
And that puddle drop. Well done. Time to tee off on the 11th. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Ooh, that almost went down. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Okay, steady now. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. Just three feet to the cup. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. This one looks to be slightly offline here. A bit wild on approach there. Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. That well, was a solid shot. Out of the bunker and onto the surface. A par putt on the table. Ouch, that hurts. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Sitting at two over for the event. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. Playing from around 210 yards here. Going with the hybrid. That one should find the surface. Outstanding shot, high quality. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here, but be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Oh, well played. From about 130 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. And the effort, that one. This putt coming up is for birdie. Well, that's a bit disappointing. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. We have a par three on this one. Par three. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. Nicely done. And a chance to get back to even with the card with this putt.
didn't quite have the right stuff there. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We've arrived at a par four. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. Quality shot that one. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Nice shot that. That should find the surface. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. So after that hole, he's now up to even with the car. I'm sorry, this is like too easy. I gotta change it. Here we go, Rich. We're at the lucky last. Teeing off the 18th hole. Players will be thinking birdie, but sixes and sevens will come along if you're not careful. That tee shot looks pretty good. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Going with the five wood. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting out for this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Five feet coming up to the cup. And with that, this round comes to a close. So after the third round, Rich, which was not a bad one, but it's a case of welcome to the modern game. If you don't have your foot flat to the boards, you go backwards. That's exactly the case that happened today. They played a good round of golf, but listen, right now, everybody else yeah. had head and shoulders Change above that. them. So this player is going to have to find uh, something to extraordinary it. tomorrow. Just kind of well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich B. That's around. Maybe should The tournament. Bring it up. Two K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich. It's the final round of Q School. Any predictions for this next golfer on the tee? Look, they've been under pressure the entire time. Right now, they are solid, but they're not a given. They really have to bear down and play a solid round of golf to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. Oh, I've got those special chills up the spine. I know today's going to be a beauty. Let's get into it. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Currently a couple under for the event. This hole is a par five. Players looking to make four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Well, that's a handy shot. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Going with a three wood here. Uh-oh, this one's headed for the rough. Ah, uh, that always looked wet, didn't it? Playing their fourth shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. This is what they have left for a part. Ooh, right by the hole. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Here we are at the third. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. 
Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. He's found the surface. Good chance here. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. A par putt awaits. That gets the job done. Currently one under for the event. Always exciting when you stand up on the tee on a short par four. Par four measuring 298 yards. Will the players give it a go or not? Let's find out. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Sixteen feet to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. That's not the one he wanted. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 170 yards. Going with the six iron here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Atta boy, good shot. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Three feet to go here to the hole. Oh, that's a clutch par. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Playing from around 150 yards here. They've decided to club up. And he's safely on the green. And this putt to move into the top 20. Ooh. This is a par putt. That's well hold. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Sitting at minus one. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Just go ahead and tap that one in. Currently one under for the tournament. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three, to say the least. Oh, come on, sit. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? 
Ooh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Now, current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. That's tiny. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to be making tough work of this hole. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. That's disappointing. Nine feet to the cup. He's got this for his part. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. Oh, absolutely flushed. Henny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. And a fantastic look upcoming. Just didn't drop. Well, I don't mind this par putt. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Opting for the five wood. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Setting up here with a very long putt. One weak picks too many, I think. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Oh, so close. Uh, this one is for bogey. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. This hole is a par four. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the 12th. Looks to be going with the five iron. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. A bit short with that effort. And here we are with the third shot. Great touch, really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Currently at plus one for the tournament. We have a par four on this one. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're gonna have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. That's really not what we're looking for. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He's looking at nice round number 180 here. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. That was special. This putt is about eight feet. Right over the spot they were looking at. Uh, a bit long on that one. 
Now oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Next up is this two shot hole. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Looks like they've got the five wood. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par now. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Par four, 421 yards. A seemingly simple par four. Nicely done. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Good sounding strike, that one. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. This Hard green, I just make it a little harder. The green, you just like not move very much. And stepping up the standings after that effort. They don't. Like, up to the if you miss the shot, you don't for this cap lock, you don't. Large show uh, on the right hand side. It's just it's like, up there. Good luck getting it close. Make it harder to whatever you do. Don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's but, just a bad shot. I don't. Okay, that'll work. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. Oh, that's frustrating. No, that's too bad. It's just about three feet away. This for par. So no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Here we are at the 17th tee. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Pretty good shot there. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. That was a beauty. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Well, that'll play, and that will take him to one under. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Players will be thinking birdie, but sixes and sevens will come along if you're not careful. That's nicely done. From around 220 yards. Going with the five wood. But this player's really going after it here, Rich. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And this punt for a final score of 69. Yeah. Look at the old hammer hands putt. It was on a good line. Opportunity to make their par. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
Well, brother, thanks for watching. We're gonna get our tour card. That's time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye for now.